Greetings, I'm Catherine Fath, a math professor at Queen's University in Kingston, Ontario. And as kind of a boot camp series of lectures today, I'm going to tell you about Cartesian products. So we're going to start with, so suppose that we have x and y as sets. And for example, and then we'll use these again in a moment, so I could say maybe, you know, there's no specification on what kinds of elements they have. They don't have to have even the same kinds of elements, so maybe the first one is going to be dog, cat, and mouse. And the second one is going to be y equals 1, 2. So we start with that, and then we define a Cartesian product of those two sets. Um, and the order you're going to see is going to matter. So we're going to say that this is our Cartesian product So the Cartesian product of, and I'm going to shift this line mildly, so the Cartesian product of x and y Uh, and it's important that that's actually, as I said, the order is going to matter. So this is the Cartesian product of x and y. It's going to be, so it's going to be, it's going to be denoted like this, where I write x and then a little uh, time symbol and y. Uh, and so this is going to be notation for the Cartesian product of x and y. And then, right, this kind of symbol means I'm defining it to be, it's going to be a set. Okay, and what are the elements of the set? So we're going to look at all of these kind of ordered pairs, not kind of ordered pairs, are ordered pairs, where the first element has to be in the first set, right? So I have that x has to be contained in x, and y has to be contained in y. Okay, so I'm looking at all the possibilities of ordered pairs like this, where the first element has to be in x, and the second element has to be in y, okay? And so this is something called an ordered pair. So, and it's just a pair of elements where the orders actually matters that you write them in. Okay, so if I write x, y, that's not the same thing as writing y, x. So this is an ordered pair. Right, meaning it's a pair where order matters. Okay. Now, of course, it's always important to know, okay, so we're looking at all the possibilities, the order matters, where this is in here, and this is in here, so first is in the first set, the second is in the second set, okay, but there's always the question of, you want to know when are two, like, when do we consider two things to be the same, this is always important, and it's going to be if they share both, you know, their first coordinates are the same, and the second coordinates are the same, okay, so this is just kind of, it's not about this, is that we have that, x, y is considered to be the same as x prime, y prime, if and only if we have that both x equals x prime and y equals y prime, okay? And it doesn't work to swap, as we said. Uh, so let's look at an example where we're actually using these two sets that I drew over here, so we're actually using these two. So let's go ahead and, and look at what that product looks like in that circumstance. Okay, so if I take x cross y, what do I get? Okay, well, I have to take all the combinations of things from here and things from here. So we'll start with uh, going with dog, and then we'll do that with 1, 2, and then cat with 1, 2, and then mouse with 1, 2, and then we'll hit all the combinations. So let's go ahead and write that out. So I can have... I'm going to actually make these parentheses first so that I so that I don't have to switch colors too often. Uh, 
Okay, so I'm going to need two different dog things because they're both going to have to go. It has to go with both one and two. I need two cat things because they have to go with both one and two. I need two mouse things because they have to go with both one and two. Okay, so dog has to go with one, dog has to go with two, cat has to go with one, cat has to go with two, and so on. Okay, so this is the entire set. I took all the combinations of taking one element from here and one element from here with the order mattering. So that's one example and one that you're kind of uh, happy and familiar with. So let's do another one. Or the, this one will be the one that you're happy and familiar with. So we're going to take the, car, uh, the Cartesian plane. Okay, so R2, which is going to equal R cross R, like this is the Cartesian plane. Like this, so this is now coming from, right, the first coordinate comes from there, the second coordinate comes from here, and then if we look at this, and if I want to look at the point one, one, two, one, two, three, right, so this point versus one, two, three, one, okay, so we have, right, this point over here starts with a one because I went one in this direction, but this point over here starts with the three because I went over three, and this point is a three, and this point is a one, and the thing to emphasize here, right, is this actually is true, right, that these are not the same point, even though I just switched the order of the coordinates, okay? Um, right, so that's something to kind of pay attention to there, is that, let me draw this if it's down here, okay, is that this was true that 1, 3 did not equal 3, 1. So it's even clear to see in this case. So we're familiar with, even though these look like they're the same set, I mean, they are the same set, but it's still which copy I chose it from, whether it was the first or the second mattered. Okay, we'll look at one more example. Okay, so we're going to have, I'm going to keep with this idea of doing the first coordinate in green and the second in red. So we're going to look at N cross C. Okay, and I could start with kind of thinking, well, I kind of, it's going to look a little bit like, right, this is, this does sit inside of R2. It is a subset of R2, but I'm doing it like this because if you kind of look at it, so my n, so these are my natural numbers, so they're just like this kind of discrete set sitting in here, right? And then my integers, so this is like my n, and my integers are also this kind of discrete set here, or my z, that's my integers there, right? And now I need to take everything so that the first coordinate comes from there and the second coordinate comes from there. So if we think about that for a moment, what that's going to end up being, so the first coordinate has to come from here, so it has to be on this side, right? And then my second coordinate comes from here, so it has to line up with one of these red dots. So I end up getting So I get this kind of collection, right? So a point in here would look like, right, the first coordinate would have to come from here, the second from here. So for example, I could have one, two, three, four, or five. So let's look at this one. So I had five there. And then I went down, so this is one, two. So this is minus two. Okay. Great. So that was the only other example I wanted to show. But I wanted to emphasize something else which is that I can do this same kind of Cartesian product thing with more than one, uh, sorry, more than two sets. So let's just kind of emphasize that. Okay. 
Okay, um, so we can also from the Cartesian product, product from a list of sets. And then I just kind of want to make sure I write, write this right. So we would end up with this product like this. So we're going to, what it's going to end up meaning is it's going to end up being the set of all things where the first element comes from here, the second element comes from A2, the third element comes from A3, the nth element comes from An. Okay, so this is going to equal the set of all A1 up to An such that Aj Right, it tells me which coordinate it comes from, and this here is this is going to be an n tuple, so just it's kind of like an ordered pair, right? Except now it has n things, so the the order still matters. Okay, um, so this is called an n tuple. Okay, and order still matters. Okay, great. So thank you. So this is what I want to tell you about Cartesian products. It's just kind of this thing where you give me some sets and you get out an n tuple depending on how many sets and the, the uh, you know, the element that's in kind of the jth place has to come from the jth set. And that's just kind of how it works. Great, so I hope that you got a lot out of this and that you'll watch some of the other videos.